Okay, welcome back to another video. Today we're here to review my Contax T2. That was a sweet rhyme. I'm not gonna bore you with all the specifics because you probably already know what they are. You just want my thoughts and opinion on it. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I really like about this camera is that the lens actually has an adjustable aperture ring. The reason I like this so much is because I get to control my depth of field and on a 38 millimeter lens, when you already have some lens compression, it comes in really handy whenever you're trying to get either a shallow depth of field or a really long depth of field. So it gets brownie points in my book. So the next thing I really like is that you can set the focus to infinity. What's great about it is that if you're trying to shoot photos through either a car window or just a subject that's really far away, you know that it's gonna be in focus. A lot of the times, if you're trying to focus on something really far away, it might not grab perfect focus and your photos won't be as tack sharp as you were hoping. Another thing I really like about this camera is actually the flash. I know I do have a flash burn on my right now, but even so, it's a super bright flash and lights up the entire room. And you actually do have two modes for this camera too. One being a single flash burst and the second mode being a double flash burst to reduce red eye. Even though you can fix that in Lightroom nowadays, it's still cool that they have it. And the final thing I like about this camera is how sharp the lens is. The lens was made by Carl Zeiss and he is known for making extremely sharp lenses. The lens I'm actually filming on is a Carl Zeiss lens and the detail this lens has is just awesome. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for really cheap. I know the price of these cameras had gone up an extreme amount, but I actually got it for a pretty good price that didn't break the bank. Ever since one of the Jenner people took this on Fallon, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of them. You can't find it for under $1,000 anymore, which is, in my words, redonkulous. But how do I really feel about the camera? Honestly, it's pretty cool. I like the fact that I can just throw it in my bag and capture any behind the scenes photos I wanna get while I'm on a trip or don't feel like lugging around my camera with. This is great and I don't have to take this thing too seriously. One thing I like about point and shoots in general is that I feel like you focus on your shots a lot more. When the camera is doing everything for you and all you have to focus on is your composition, it's really just great practice if you're trying to improve your eye. No, you don't need this specific point and shoot to do that. Any point and shoot will do you just fine, but we'll talk about that in a second. So using the camera is actually pretty simple. All you do is turn the dial to AF and you're ready to go. You do a half press on the shutter to get focus and you fire away. There's really not much to it. If you wanna be in full auto mode, set the aperture to 2.8 then the camera is choosing both your aperture and shutter speed for you. If not, choose the best aperture that fits your scene. Here are some sample photos from my first roll with it. I shot some expired black and white film on a trip I just had, and I think the context came in really handy for these shots. So I guess the final question we answer is, is this camera for you? And to be honest, I don't really know if it's for you. Frankly, it's not really for me. Do I enjoy it? Yeah. Does it look cool? Yeah. Do you get good photos from it? Yeah. But if you want full control over your camera, then it's not for you. I personally think it's pretty cool because I like the innocence of a point and shoot. I feel like for me sometimes it allows me to be more present in the moment. I don't have to worry about all of my settings and I just get to capture what I see. And there is a lot of alternatives. This isn't the only point and shoot on the market. It just happens to be one of the most popular ones. But I think that'll be it for this video. It is a little shorter, but I wanted to keep this really brief and concise. This isn't a full review with all the nitty gritty aspects. This is more just my take on a really popular camera and what I think about it. I'll keep it for a while, definitely. I think it's gonna be one of those cameras that I just keep around for a long time. I'll shoot a lot of behind the scenes stuff on it and a lot of just fun moments that I normally wouldn't capture on my normal camera. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm not really sure what to make videos on. Maybe a cool idea would be to review my portfolio or we'll do like a photo vlog or any other cool ideas you guys might have. Just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.